Okay, hi everyone. Here's a demo and explanation on the Pro 7 Media Sweeper app, uh, the Pro 7 Media Sweeper utility, whatever you want to call it, and about how it works, how to use it, and uh, if you need to, how to restore what, what it, it uh, does if it messes up. So first of all, here's the ProPresenter Media Sweeper app. I'm going to download that from uh, GitHub here. It's located at github.com slash Arlen Sandbolt, my name, uh, Pro 7 Media Sweeper. And uh, if you go over here and click Releases, there's only one release that I have enabled here, and that's the version 2.0 Beta 1. Uh, there are some older versions that only supported Windows. It was written with Auto Hotkey. I do not recommend using those. They for some people it'll work great. Other people it will mess things up. So uh, this is a much better method to do it. So I, this is what I recommend. So under here there's assets. There's both a Mac version and a Windows version, as well as the source code below that. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows version. I'm just going to save that to my directory here for now. Now you will get an error, or you probably will get an error that uh, it's not trusted very well. So um, you got to trust me on this. It's okay to keep. So I'm gonna. In, I'm in. Uh, uh, let's see here. Google Chrome here. I'm gonna keep that file. Okay. So once that's kept, I'm just gonna show it in folder. And again, it's downloaded a zip file here. So I'm gonna grab. Grab the executable. There's only one executable in there. Or if you're on Mac, there's one. Uh, dot app uh, package. I can just grab that. And I'm not going to run it now, but uh, later we'll just run that and I'll demonstrate how that works. But first of all, I'm going to go into ProPresenter and just do a little bit of explaining. Um, ProPresenter is great. You can take media files, throw media files at ProPresenter, and uh, it will help you show them on your screens, obviously. Uh, do songs, make songs, whatever. Um, but one problem with ProPresenter, which is why I created this app, <clears throat> is it's really easy to accumulate lots of media files on the hard drive of your computer and no good way to know what ProPresenter is actually using and not using. So you can accumulate lots of files on here, on your computer, and uh, not be able to figure out how to get rid of the files that ProPresenter is not using. So for instance, I could... Uh, if I would just, uh, let's say I just delete this slide here. I just, I just deleted that timer slide. Um, nowhere in ProPresenter am I using that. Or actually, if I go to media here, I could go into here, uh, countdown videos. It's, yeah, I think this is the one I deleted. So if I would delete this from my media bin, there's a couple options here where I can move to trash. In that case, it does actually remove it from your computer or you could delete queues. So if I hit delete queues here, uh, that that uh, video has been removed for ProPresenter. ProPresenter no longer knows that ProPresenter doesn't know that that file exists or that media file exists anywhere on your computer. Um, but it's still on your computer, um, and some files can be gigabytes in, in size. Uh, especially some of these these countdowns can get kind of large. Um, usually backgrounds aren't huge, but still it, it accumulates up. It, it adds up. So what my utility does is it finds those files that are not being used by ProPresenter, and it uh, sweeps them up. It uh, moves them so that you can review them and determine, yeah, I can, I can delete that or no, I still want to keep that um, that way. So uh, a couple things I want to show you in ProPresenter, just a little bit of background information for that. I'm not going to show you all of the ways that the ProPresenter can accumulate those files, but uh, I do want to show you a couple of things in Preferences. So we're going to go to Preferences, Advanced. And there's two important things here that I want you to keep in mind. Uh, the first one here is the support files. This is the location of all of your ProPresenter data. So basically everything that ProPresenter um, does, everything that it knows about, how it's configured, just about all of that stuff is stored in this support files location here. Usually that'll just be your user folder. Uh, for me, it's Arlen. Uh, documents, and then it'll be documents, and it'll just be ProPresenter usually. Now, I've changed that a bit here. I've called, I've made one called ProPresenter Sweeper Demo, just so I can show you that without uh, blowing most of my stuff away here. 
Okay, so first of all, let's just go to that once. I'm going to go to Documents. Pro, here's the pro, the default ProPresenter um, location. Um, but here's the one that I'm using right now, ProPresenter Sweeper Demo. So if I go into there, you can see there's configuration. Here's all your libraries. Um, if you go into here, uh, our master library, here's all of our songs, profiles, which are profiles in ProPresenter. Um, and here's the kind of the important one that I want to concentrate on today, the media folder. So this is where ProPresenter puts most of its media files, um, just about all of them, in fact. And I'll describe that in a second, a little bit more in depth. But anyway, there's configuration files, there's playlists. So um, the media playlists, your audio playlists, your libraries. Uh, I won't go into all the details of this, but uh, that's where all of your ProPresenter data is stored, just about all of it. I think there's some registration info and some other things that aren't stored into stored in here, but just about everything else is stored in here. Um, okay, so that was the support files location. There's also this option here for media repository. By default, this option to manage media automatically is checked when you first run ProPresenter, or when you first install ProPresenter. And what this media, manage media automatically does is anytime you bring a file into ProPresenter and bring a media file into ProPresenter, it is going to copy that media file into that location that we were just looking at a minute ago. It's going to copy those files into this media folder here. It's going to be documents, wherever your support file location is, slash media. So it's going to copy it all into, into there. And most of it is going to go under assets here. If I open up my assets folder, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here, and it's just kind of thrown in there, um, all at the same level, I think. Uh, if you do some imports, um, downloads, I think if you go through their store, those will show up in downloads. But um, And then, yeah, if you import playlists uh, from other computers, I think some of that will go into import. Um, but anyway, that's, that's where all that media will go into. Now... If you uncheck this manage media automatically option here, when you drag media into ProPresenter, it will always keep the media at the same location. And uh, when ProPresenter is running, it's going to grab that media from that location and display it from that location. So it's not going to copy the media into a new location. It's just going to grab it from wherever you have it. So if you put it in your downloads, and a drag that ProPresenter media into a drag that media into ProPresenter, um, or if you add it um, using the um, let's see here you can in your media library here you can add add uh, from Explorer uh, whatever um, basically so any media that you get put into ProPresenter here with if you don't have that checked it's just going to use it from wherever you have it on your computer it could be even be a thumb drive. Uh, or your downloads folder, or somewhere, anywhere on your computer. Um, let's go back there a second to advanced. But personally, I usually use the Manage Media Automatically uh, checked. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so knowing that, hopefully that explains a few things about ProPresenter Media Management to you. Um, I'm going to go back here to my downloads. And uh, here's the application utility that I just downloaded, the Pro 7 Media Sweeper. I'm going to run that and show you exactly how it runs. So, first of all, I'm uh, I'm going to close out ProPresenter. I don't think you actually need to pro close out ProPresenter, but it's probably best practice if you don't have ProPresenter running when you run this. Because theoretically, it's just going to be moving stuff that ProPresenter doesn't know about anyway. So I'm going to run Pro 7 Media Sweeper. Uh, the first thing you'll notice here is because I'm not, yeah, I'm not uh, an approved developer. They're running Windows is trying to protect my PC here. You're just going to have to trust me on this. Uh, app users, uh, Apple users, will find the same type of thing. You click more info, and then click run anyway here. Once you do this once, uh, you'll never have to, that problem again, unless you download a new version of the of the app. So once I've done that, uh, this window pops up here. 
So this is the application right here. It says Pro 7 Media Sweeper. I'm on the 2.0 Beta 1 version. Um, and by default, it's going to, this media folder to sweep. So this is what we're going to clear out. This, by default, it chooses what you have defined in ProPresenter as your uh, support file path. So remember, my support file path in ProPresenter was this Pro Presenter Sweeper demo. And it's going to choose the media folder underneath that, since that's where, by default, ProPresenter is always going to put all of its media. Now, if you do not use that manage media automatically, if you do not have that checked, you can change folder to sweep. And you just click that. You can browse anywhere you want on your computer and to sweep. Uh, maybe have it on a, uh, in your downloads. You have a, a ProPresenter media folder in your downloads where you manage all your media. Uh, you can select that there as well. So for now, I'm just going to keep this selected as the default. There's an include subfolders checkbox here. Um, most of the time, especially if you're using the default here, you're going to want to keep that checked. Um, this just uh, digs into the subfolders within this, whatever folder you choose up here, and it uh, also removes unused files from there. Okay, so then all we have to do here is uh, click this sweep media files here. Now, one warning, this uh, button will sweep all files in that folder. If there's text files that ProPresenter never uses or um, uh, it's any other file you have, uh, I don't know, zip files, whatever, it's going to remove all of them. But it doesn't delete them. It just puts them to a different location on your computer where you can review them or even restore them if you want. And we'll go through that process in a minute here too. So I'm going to click the Sweep Folders button here. It's going to show you it's working. I've had some users tell me that it doesn't show up very well on on Mac. Uh, some I think it's dark theme. But anyway, uh, it's working. It's moving all those files around. It's analyzing the... Well, first it's analyzing your Pro 7 installation, seeing what files are used in there. And then it's going to move all those files that it that are in this folder but not used in ProPresenter. So in my case here, it's moved 97 files. They've been moved to this location here. So it's the location that it's always going to move these files to is creates a folder called Pro 7 Media Sweeper in your user directory or your home directory for your Apple users, home user directory. Um, Pro 7 Media Sweepers, and then it moves them to swept files, and there's a date code there. Okay, so that's all done. I'm going to now, uh, let's see here, browse to my user directory. So here's that folder that it just created. Uh, we're under C, Users, Arlen, in my case here. Pro 7 Media Sweeper. And every time you run this, it does two things. It creates a log file. And this log file has information if you want to go back, um, mostly for myself, if I want to debug certain things. So if you have an issue, send this log file to me. It tells you what files were used, um, what your home directory was when you ran it, the support file path. So this is that path where all this ProPresenter data is at. And then here it shows you all the files that it found in the media folder that you wanted to sweep. So in my media folder that I wanted to sweep is right here. Users Arlen Documents ProPresenter Sweeper Demo Media. Okay, so that's just a text file that it puts in that folder. And then all the files that it found that ProPresenter is not using, it puts in this swept files folder right here. And it maintains the relative directory structure. And uh, the re reason for that is important. I'll get to that in a second. But the reason for that is... Uh, is uh, so you can easily restore them if something goes wrong, if it moves files that you don't want it to move. Uh, so in my case, I just have one folder under there, and here's all the files that are in my Pro Presenter installation that were removed. If I just uh, I would put properties on that, there was eight and a half gigabytes of files in that media folder that were not being used by Pro Presenter. Okay, so at this point, I can go in here and look at these files, and yep, this one wasn't used. I know that. I can delete it away. Um, you can also open ProPresenter, make sure stuff doesn't uh, break, none of your references are broken. 
uh, when that happens. But what I want to show you now is how to restore those files if something goes wrong. Say it, it moves something you didn't want it to move. Um, something, uh, my code, my program just messes up and moves a bunch of stuff that it shouldn't have moved. What you can do is go into the swept folder, swept files folder, and just select everything in there. I'm just going to press control A to select everything. In, th in this case, it's only one folder. Um, so it's not a big deal. I'm going to take that. I'm going to cut those files. And then I'm going to go back where I performed that sweep. I can look in here to see where that sweep location was um, in that log file. But I know where it was. So I was in, let's see, I was in ProPresenter Sweeper Demo, Media, and that was my folder. So then I just go here, hit Paste, and just put all those files back exactly where they were before. So all those files that swept out are now back in here. And that's how you uh, that's how you use the utility. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, if you have any issues with it, please let me know. Um, if you can uh, if you can uh, have issues, try and file it. You can file some issues. Here under uh, GitHub, uh, I think you have to sign up for an account on GitHub in order to do that. But uh, you can create some issues here, and I'll try and get to them as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Um, so thanks again. Enjoy it, and uh, let me know how it works out for you.